Welcome back to Film Guy Recaps. Today we will discuss the 2011 action fantasy movie called Sucker Punch. This film shares the powerful story of a young girl who is targeted by her stepfather and sent to an asylum where she makes a genius plan to escape. Don't forget to like and subscribe, now let's get on with the video. The film opens with a young distressed girl named Baby Doll. She has just gotten the news of her mother's death. Baby Doll and her little sister are now stuck alone in the house with their cruel stepfather. The greedy stepfather gets infuriated once he discovers his late wife's will and sees that she left all the money to Baby Doll and her sister. He attempts to molest Baby Doll but she fights back. Infuriated, the man locks her in the room and walks towards her little sister's room. Baby Doll cannot let this happen and decides to take action. She escapes her room through the window and decides to shoot the perverted stepfather. She somehow finds a gun in the house and points it at him but she misses the shot and hits a light bulb instead. Baby Doll sees that she was too late and the vindictive stepfather had already killed her little sister. She is still processing this entire incident while she runs away. This gives him a chance to take all the money while declaring that Baby Doll is mentally insane, because she tried to murder him. He calls the police and claims that her mother's death drove Baby Doll crazy and that she has killed her little sister. He successfully blames everything on Baby Doll. She is committed to the Lennox Asylum for the Mentally Insane by her stepfather, in order to stop her from talking to the police and exposing him. Prior to the younger sister's demise, the stepfather had taken the life of the girl's mother. He had done the unthinkable with both the sisters. He bribes asylum orderly Blue Jones to forge psychiatrist Vera Gorsky's signature and wrongfully approve the procedure for Baby Doll to be lobotomized. This is a treatment that makes a person forget almost everything in their past. The stepfather wants the girl to forget everything so he can push his crimes under the rug and enjoy the wrongfully acquired money. Blue ensures that he will take care of everything. Dr. Gorsky is the one in charge of teaching all the girls theater acts so that they can overcome their fear and socialize normally. Baby Doll now takes note of four items she would need to escape from here but Blue always keeps an eye on her. The next day, a surgeon is about to perform a lobotomy on Baby Doll but she slips into a fantasy world. She imagines herself as a newly arrived girl at a brothel owned by Blue, who in this world is a mobster, and all the asylum girls are exotic dancers in the pleasure business. Baby Doll befriends four other patients, Amber, Blondie, Rocket, and Rocket's sister Sweet Pea, who is the star of the show. Dr. Gorski is the girl's dance instructor and she teaches the girls how to dance in a seductive way so that their clients are pleased. All the people are the same but their characters have changed since all of this is just her imagination. Blue informs Baby Doll her virginity will be sold to a client known as the High Roller, who is actually the doctor scheduled to perform her lobotomy. Since Baby Doll is new to all of this, Rocket familiarizes Baby Doll with everything and enlightens her on how things work around here. She reveals how all the girls dance for new customers every day and Baby Doll also has to do the same now. They pass by the kitchen where they see a cook chopping up pieces of meat with a cleaver. Rocket is taking something inside a storage room when the cook comes inside. He starts to push himself onto her. Baby Doll is cleaning the floors outside and she hears Rocket screaming. She runs inside, takes a knife and puts it in the throat of the chef. She ensures that she will not hesitate in cutting the throat of the chef and he lets Rocket go as both of them run away. Later, Gorski asks Baby Doll to dance in front of everyone. Though hesitant at first, when Grosky plays the music, Baby Doll starts to perform an erotic dance, during which she starts to fantasize and finds herself to be in feudal Japan. She meets the wise man who claims that Baby Doll has to fight if she wants to leave this world. He presents Baby Doll with weapons in order to help her win. He gives her a katana and a gun with some bullets. When she is leaving, he reveals that she needs four items to escape, a map, a fire, a knife, and a key. Other than the named items, there is also a fifth unrevealed item that only she can find, which would require a deep sacrifice. When she turns around, three weapon-wielding giant samurais are standing in front of her with the intent of attacking her. She knows that she has to kill all three of them but before she can do anything, one of them kicks her and sends her back inside the temple. He also enters the temple with a murderous intent. Baby Doll uses a katana to fight him and though the samurai seems to have the upper hand, Baby Doll manages to slit his throat as light flares from it. But before she knows, the second one comes with a massive machine gun and starts to shoot at her. She manages to avoid all the shots as she jumps on the samurai and shoots his face multiple times with a gun that the wise men gave her. She walks outside as the whole place behind her collapses but the last samurai still remains undefeated. He starts to run towards Baby Doll while she creates an energy field around herself that gives her a boost and she jumps away while killing the samurai. Her fantasy ends and she finds herself back in the brothel having impressed Blue and the other onlookers. Baby Doll tells her friends that she needs to escape this place by finding the items mentioned by the wise man. 
she somehow convinces the four girls to join her preparations to escape, planning to use her dances as a distraction while the other girls obtain the necessary tools. She instructs them to steal the map, for finding the exits, a lighter, to start a fire and create a distraction, a knife, for protection, and a master key that opens all the doors. This key hangs on Blue's neck. They have to steal all of this one at a time. Baby Doll gathers everyone in the hall to show them her dance while the girls can steal the map. Sweet Pea goes to Blue's office to announce that Baby Doll's dance is starting. He goes out of there, while giving Sweet Pea the perfect opportunity to steal the map. During her dances, she fantasizes adventures that resemble the escape efforts. This time, she fantasizes herself and the girls infiltrating a bunker protected by World War I German soldiers to gain a map. In the fantasy, it is shown that the World War did not end and it resulted in an apocalyptic world. The wise man also appears once again and reveals that they need to fight zombie German soldiers in order to get to the bunker where the map is stored. Amber sits in a steam-powered robot and flies away to destroy German aircrafts while the rest of them stay below and reach the bunker. They fight the German zombie soldiers while killing them with guns, knives, and swords. They clear the way for Baby Doll so that she can go and retrieve the map. While being outnumbered, Baby Doll goes inside the bunker where the zombie German commander overpowers her but is crushed under falling debris. A German soldier takes the map and runs away in his giant airship. Baby Doll uses a giant machine gun to set fire to the airship and destroy it mid-air. The remaining girls appear in the robot and they kill the entire army of German zombies as her fantasy ends. This signifies that they successfully took the map. After witnessing the great dance performed by Baby Doll, Blue calls Gorski to talk. He suggests that they should have a private show just for the mayor so that they would have some funds. He goes back to his office where he feels like someone used his photocopy machine so he starts to feel suspicious. Baby Doll and Amber get ready for the private show because without wasting more time, they decide to steal the lighter in order to create a fire. Amber sits on the mayor's lap, so that she can steal the lighter from his pocket while Baby Doll dances and distracts him. The next fantasy takes her storming to an orc-infested castle to retrieve two fire-producing crystals from a baby dragon, just like Amber is stealing a lighter from the mayor's pocket. Leaving Amber and Blondie in the plane with the wise man, the rest of the girls go down in the castle to retrieve the crystal while fighting orcs. They somehow reach the basement where they find the baby dragon. Baby doll slits its throat and takes out the fire-producing crystals. She rubs the crystals together which produces a mighty flame but it wakes something up beneath them. It is the baby dragon's mother, she senses a presence as she ascends from the darkness. After looking at its dead child, she starts to attack the three of them. The mother dragon even chases the plane until the mother is killed by baby doll with a katana to the head. The fantasy ends and baby doll sees that even the mayor is impressed by her dance. He checks his pocket but sees that his lighter is missing because Amber successfully stole it. Blue is very clever, and he knows the girls are onto something. All of them are very happy in their room because they had to steal four things and they already have two of them. But the celebration suddenly ends and all hope instantly goes away when Blue comes to their room and threatens them to not do anything because he doubts that all of them are up to something dubious. Blondie is devastated by this and she decides that she will not be a part of this anymore. They go in the kitchen and lure the fat cook in so that he can get distracted while looking at Baby Doll dancing. Meanwhile, they can steal the knife. Baby Doll starts to dance and this time, in the fantasy, the wise man tells them that their mission is to fight robotic guards on board a train to disarm a bomb. This is mirrored by Sweet Pea stealing the kitchen knife from the cook's belt. They blow a hole in the train and they go inside to wreak havoc. After destroying all the incredibly realistic robots, they finally go and disarm the bomb. But one robot is still not killed so he manages to reactivate the bomb. Due to a mishap, the music stops for a moment and Baby Doll stops dancing. The cook catches Sweet Pea stealing the knife because the dance performance has stopped. He takes a knife out and approaches Sweet Pea while the music starts to play again and Baby Doll goes back to the fantasy world. The bomb is activated and it will explode in a matter of minutes. Rocket sacrifices herself to guarantee Sweet Pea's escape from the bomb blast. This is paralleled in the real world when the cook fatally stabs Rocket while she is trying to protect Sweet Pea. But their problem does not end here, Blue overhears Blondie relaying Baby Doll's plan to Gorski. He locks Sweet Pea in a closet and confronts the other girls. He mercilessly shoots Amber and Blondie on the spot while Gorski screams because she cares deeply about them. When everyone leaves, Blue attempts to hurt Baby Doll, but she stabs him with the kitchen knife that they had taped under the table. She steals his master key while taking the knife out of his shoulder and pushing him away with her foot. Baby Doll instantly goes and frees Sweet Pea. She starts a fire to keep the orderlies occupied while they seek an exit. On their way out, a group of men blocks their way. Baby Doll finally realizes that the fifth item needed to escape is actually her own sacrifice, and that this is actually Sweet Pea's story, not hers.
Baby doll distracts the men long enough to allow Sweet Pea to slip away. She successfully escapes. The scene cuts back to the surgeon who has just performed Baby doll's lobotomy. After the lobotomy, he sees that there is something different in her eyes, like she has gone to another world. Gorski notes that during her short stay, the girl stabbed an orderly, started a fire, and helped another girl escape the asylum. The surgeon asks Gorski why she authorized the procedure, and Gorski claims that she didn't. Going through the patient file, Dr. Gorski realizes that Blue has been forging her signature. She summons the police, who arrest Blue just as he attempts to hurt the now lobotomized baby doll. As he is being arrested, Blue also incriminates the stepfather. Baby doll is shown smiling serenely. This means that she actually stabbed Blue, started a fire and helped Sweet Pea escape but everything else was just a schizophrenic fantasy. Because of Blue's inappropriate character and his unsolicited advances towards the asylum girls, Baby Doll's mind created a fantasy about Blue being a dirty pimp. Later, Sweet Pea is seen going away but she is stopped by the police. She is trying to board a bus but they doubt that she is hiding something. Sweet Pea is also very nervous but the bus driver, who is revealed to be the wise man, misleads the police and lets her board the bus safely. She goes away on the bus as the movie ends. To watch more awesome and thought-provoking movie recaps, please subscribe to Film Guy Recaps. Don't forget to like this video and tell us in the comments which movie you want to see next. Goodbye for now.